Hi everyone, my name is Sergey and I am QR lead at MobiDev. Today we are going to talk about what happens to your mobile application after the first release. Let's consider that you have your first version already in App Store or Play Market or whatever else waiting to be downloaded by millions of users. What comes next? The answer is updates. Why do you need them? The main reasons are uh, some technical debt that you gathered while developing your first version and list of new features that are needed to be added to your app. This can be some new features you're already planning to add, or features gathered from users' feedback, or some new features because the world has already changed. I'll explain it a little bit later. And you definitely want to attract some new users and keep the old ones. Because if your app doesn't satisfy users' expectations, it can be easily uninstalled and it's gone, or just forgotten somewhere on users' devices. And of course, there is a lot of competing apps in digital distribution platforms. Just try to search for some for weather-focused app for yourself and see how many similar apps are there in App Store or Google Play. Let's talk about technical debt first, and about fixing the existing bugs in particular. This can be some old, low priority minor issues already awaiting in your bug tracking system, or some new bugs that were found by your users and reported to your technical support team. Fixing them may, or I would even say, will bring new issues. That's the sad reality of software development world. There are no bug-free programs and that's an axiom. But your app is already living and there are real users using it right now. So the price of sleep to production bug is really high. What I want to say, that testing becomes even more important now and you need a real professional QA team. And one more thing to remember. We are talking about mobile application world. This means to get your app published, you will need to bypass some approval process. And it takes some time, leaving users with a bugged application. And one little hint. If it happens so that you do find a critical bug in your update after it's being released, you can still quickly fix it by requesting a so-called expedited app review. It can work once or twice, but don't become a boy who cried wolves, wolves. The next thing to talk about are devices for testing. There are so many different devices on market today with such a great fragmentation of technical specs that it's obviously impossible to test on each and every one of them. While you were developing your first version, you have already created some list of approved devices for testing, using a global statistic, uh, common sense, your intuition. But even if you have developed your first version in six months or less, this list is already outdated. Mobile world is fast. While you were developing your first version, there have already appeared new devices, new operation systems, new devices with new operation system, new devices with old operation system. Some old devices that were likely to get an operation system updates, but not all devices are that likely, and not all users do update their devices. Welcome to the real world, where users can have one device model with two or more different operation system on them, and each with its own issues. What I want to point out, be ready to update the list of supported devices and do it often and do it wisely. Since you have a living application, use its own statistic to match your real user's device preferences. And yes, add some analytic system if you haven't already done it. And remember, with increasing amount of supported devices, the load on your QA team gets higher and higher. So it's time to think about some remote device farms or test automation. The next topic is new features. Adding which will bring new issues, so testing is important again. Most of new features are software only. This can be any new functionality of your application, some third-party integration like Facebook loading or Dropbox support, etc. But when adding a new feature, don't rush and don't try to give it to 100% of users at once. If something goes wrong, you don't want to disappoint all of your users at once. My advice is use stage rollout. That's how it's working on Android. You can specify that only, let's say, 10% of users will get your update. Let them use the app for a while, gather their feedbacks. If something goes wrong, release the fix and distribute it for, let's say, 20% now. Repeat these stages several times until you reach 100%. As for other platforms like iOS, you can make the same using feature flags on your server side. Some new features come with new hardware. Device manufacturers are always developing something new. Even now, when we are recording this video, there are some new devices with new hardware features are being developed somewhere deep inside Google or Apple Labs. Some examples of recent new hardware features are curved screen, 3D touch, smart wearables like Apple Watch or Galaxy Gear. Less than three years ago, there were no fingerprint scanners in devices, 
but nowadays your app is not trendy if it doesn't support Touch ID. What difficulties can new hardware features bring to a development team? Here is the example. Google creates its own native API for fingerprint authentication only in Android 6. But even since Android 5, Samsung creates its own API and uses it in its own devices with fingerprint scanners. So now, if you are developing an app with fingerprint authentication for Android, you need to support at least two different APIs with different issues each. And remember, in that case, to guarantee that all works as expected, you will need a real device with new hardware feature. Don't rely on MLHs only, because they don't give you a real user experience and feelings how it will work. A few more things about updates. Remember, they should be almost invisible for the users, but at the same time be really valuable. Nowadays, apps are updated in background, and user shouldn't be terrified when he launches your updated application. On the contrary, he should catch himself on idea, hey, how could I be using this application before without such great new features? Keep users' data. Don't delete any records that users may already have done in your application. Don't lock him off and make him login once again. He may have already forgotten the password to your application, and even be lazy enough to try to restore it, so you're just risking to lose him forever. And add what's new to your app description for geeks like me who just like creating new features of installed application. So, to cut the long story short, you never know what comes next year, month, or even week. So updates are inevitable. But try to avoid turning them into patches, and make your users happy. Thank you for your attention. Stay tuned with Mobidev.